I am making my brisket hot dish. It is a super thick, meaty, comforting casserole that gets topped with crispy potato smiles. To start, I've got two pounds of brisket cubed up, and I'm seasoning it all over with kosher salt and black pepper, and that's gonna help the brisket develop that brown crust, which is crucial for the flavor. All right, a little more salt and pepper and now we'll get it browning. So I've got my brazier here heating up and I'm just piling this all into it. It's a one pot meal. I'll get some oil heating and get this in, spacing it out evenly to give it some breathing room. That's the sound. If your pan isn't hot enough, you won't get a crust and you won't get that great flavor. I can smell it already too. I'll let this go on medium high for a few minutes on each side until it's browned all over. Okay, this is smelling great. I'll toss in my carrots and celery. The fat from the brisket is gonna get all up into these veggies and make them extra tasty. I've also got some leeks that I've chopped and soaked and rinsed. The flavor of leeks always makes me think of spring. A good pinch of salt to help the vegetables sweat. And stir this around and allow the vegetables to start to soften. This is looking really good. Okay, as the veggies continue to soften, I'll toss in some sliced garlic it around. And now that I'm smelling the garlic, that is my cue to go into the next step, which is to squeeze in two tablespoons of tomato paste. All the best braised briskets have red wine. It adds that delicious, dark, complex flavor. Just a half cup will do. Before I add anything else, I do want to allow the wine to reduce so you're just left with the flavor. The moisture from the wine will loosen up all the bits that are stuck to the bottom of the pan. Those are little tiny flavor bombs left over from browning the brisket, and they are gonna mingle and make this even more delicious. I'll pour in a can of diced tomatoes, two and a half cups of low sodium beef stock to help this come together into a stew. And I'll pour this in just until it's about halfway up the beef. And lastly, some fresh rosemary for that woodsy flavor. I'll bring this up to a boil, reduce to a simmer, and cook it covered for two hours, and then uncovered for another half hour or so so that it can reduce and get saucy and thick. Oh my good gosh, beef, this is gonna be good. It smells like hot dish heaven in here. The stew has thickened and the meat is tender. I'm just using a couple of forks to break up some of these bigger chunks. This is exactly the texture that I'm looking for. Okay, this looks good. I'll grab my tots and peas. I'll toss in some frozen peas just for added freshness and greenery. Fresh or frozen would work. If they're frozen, they'll thaw almost immediately. Okay. And of course you can use any shape tot, but look at how fun the smiley faces are. I'll arrange these in one even layer all over the top, and then stick this in the oven at 400 degrees to bake for 45 to 50 minutes until it's golden brown and bubbly. I'm ready to meet my friends. Get it? Meet. <laughs> ah, look how cute. All right. Just gotta dress them up for dinner with some parsley and chives. Give them a little body glitter, know what I'm saying? Hee <laughs> hee. Holy cozy brisket, this looks good. 